Okay, hey kids, or hey hunts, or hey heifers. <laughs> y'all are good heifers. Remember, I told y'all, good heifers. Hey heifer, bad heifers. Do you see what the heifer did? That's for anybody that's new. <laughs> hey heifer is a term of endearment. Heifer, what? <laughs> that's a term of, you better run. <laughs> Anywho, um, I am going to write out a to-do list because every time I go from room to room, I spot something that I think, man, I need to take care of that. And it's odd things. That's like y'all saw me putting away dishes and our utensil caddies. Let me get y'all down from there. I have you high in the sky. All right. If you see my utensil caddies, they are a hot mess. Usually I have wooden stuff in here. Um, my All my spoons in here. Usually this will have my plastic things too. And then anything weird or a large size like my spatula and my tongs, they go back here in this one. I did clean like this side of them. But this side and the back, no. And they're starting to get kind of greasy. I don't know if y'all can see that. That's grease. Oh, <laughs> I'm ashamed to say. But it does need a... Uh-oh, y'all fell. Are y'all okay? You don't have whiplash, do you? State Farm is our homeowner's insurance. <laughs> Please don't fall. <laughs> Anywho, um, man, this is a weird angle. I might have to bring y'all down some. Anywho, I walked in the dining room, and I was folding Fat Man's clothes in there. I've got another load I need to fold. i got a load of his in the dryer, and I need to get mine going. Um, I told Carol Beth, I said, man, a little bit more water. It goes like this usually all the time. Last week, I didn't have hardly anything. Um, I did have to cancel physical therapy both days. I just could not. I mean, I just could not. Um, yeah, I don't know what was going on with me, but I just... I needed a good swift kick in the butt's what I needed. Anywho, I've got to call and make an appointment for two days this week. But then I got to looking at my calendar. Honey, I got something every blaming day but today. Um, tomorrow I go to UAB. Wednesday, I have to be at the dentist at 8. Leave my dentures. Sweet hannies to heaven. I don't want nobody seeing me like that. And then Thursday, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I can go pick them up. So that's going to be more than 24 hours without my teeth. They're mine. I paid for them. <laughs> well, technically, they're fat man's. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just benefiting from them, maybe. <laughs> Anywho, um, and then Friday, I had to go to the cancer center. Recheck. I had to go every three months. It's a thing. So, I get to go and peek at Dr. Reard, and he is so fun. He is so fun. So, but uh, see, that's something every day this week, but today. So, I'm going to make me a list of everything that, oh, I was talking about the dining room. Honey, that little black dresser that was Becca's, it's in there. I try to use like a sideboard, a.k.a. a collect doll. You know, you've got those spots. If you've got a vertical spot, is that vertical? That's horizontal. Anyhow, if you've got something like diet, a flat surface, He's going to pile crap on it. So it's not a sideboard. It's a crap board. <laughs> I need to dust it. Um, like I said, I need to clean the canisters. Just little odd things. I need to set Rosie, our robot vacuum. It's not a Roomba. It's a knockoff Amazon $29 job. But she works. Honey, I have to empty that thing in five minutes because of dog hair. And it's not from Foxy, our long-haired Dotson. It's from Doris, our short-haired Dotson Terrier mix. 
Honey, that dog, you can make a Pomeranian out of <laughs> just out of one room. <laughs> Girl. All right, so let me get to making my list, and I'll be back. Okay, hunts. I brought y'all down so <laughs> I'm actually holding you. So if you start swaying, I'm so sorry. I finished my list. We're talking procrastination at its finest. Um, but yeah, I even put down what I want to do for supper tonight. I got those zucchinis that we have to cook. I never did cook them last week, and they're starting to shrivel so we're going to do those i found a wonderful roasted zucchini recipe you actually put it on uh, like a cooling cookie sheet thing a wire rack you put it on a wire rack but it you do them in parmesan cheese I mean, it sounds wonderful so i'm going to do that recipe and then i'm going to do my baked potatoes because i've got some sour cream we got to use. I was going to do mashed, and you can add sour cream to that, but baked potatoes just sound better today. I'm doing chicken tenders because that's one of the few meats we had in this freezer at the bottom of my fridge. We're kind of consolidated to any meat that was in there and then the hamburger meat that I bought. So, luckily I had, because it was a five-pound box from Sam's, praise the Lord, I put it in here. I also had those slabs of ribs we got from Winn-Dixie. You got like three slabs for, it was cheap. It was cheap. I stuck those in here, and I'm praising the Lord that I did, because that gives us another meat. So, I'm just trying to work out with what we have um because i can't afford to go get no more girl you know what i'm saying yeah y'all know times is tough <laughs> in fact i found i think i found some sausage i might do red beans and rice with sausage one night this week or next week i want to say i'd already planned this week might have but i might have to move some things around I don't know. Anywho, I'm doing the chicken tenders. We're going to do roasted zucchini in the oven. And then I'm going to do baked potatoes in my Instapot. So, that supper, out of my head, I know what I'm doing. Um, I need to fold and wash all the clothes. I need to go get mine started. And I heard the dryer go off. So, well, it beeped at me to let me know it's dry. It's still turning. Um, dining room, I need to dust. Put all the food away that's still on the metal cabinet and then just pick up and then sweep or vacuum. I might get out the shop vac and just go around from room to room. Just shop vac in the crap. You know, living room needs dusting. I need to pick up. That's a given always. Uh, I need to clean the corners. You know how crap? Yeah, corners are crap catchers. Learn this. Corners of your house or your rooms, crap catchers. Because look, well, I love my blanket rack. I need to re, I need to fix it, make it purdy. Um, that needs picking up. That needs cleaning off. This is where I put my Christmas village. And then there's all my medical supplies. Yeah, fun, huh? Yeah, I need to organize some of that. This side is for my treatments. It's got my, like that's my catheter needles. Not my catheter needles. Lord have mercy, Jesus. That's my port needles. Um, I got like my med pre-meds. Here's some, what is this, IV Benadryl. That's IV something. There's a valve check. Have to put that on there, make sure it's not processing too fast. Here is my heparin saline. Man, they're full. Um, change kits. Yeah. 
they, and then by pumps down there. This is the catheter size, like bags. Um, there's a different kind of bag. My Foley's are in here. Uh, a catheter tray kit, like for changing it. Yeah, that stuff that can, I don't know. I don't know what that needs. My sharks container. So they know what they're doing with all that. So I really and truly don't mess with that too much. Um, you know, when they come to do my catheter, I have to show them. Because different people come. It's not ever the same same person. I love the little girl I had this last time. So I'm hoping they have her on my schedule. Always. Um, Alice Marie pulled out all the Legos Halloween night when they came and stayed. And it was just so fun. She said, oh my, we gonna build a house. And I'm like, okay, let's build us a house. And honey, she started smooshing them Legos on down. So, I think I might want to get her a little Lego set of something. I don't know if she needs, because it was still hard for her to push the little, you know. I think she might benefit more from a Duplo set. So, see, but I'm still running my pie hole. I'm telling y'all what I need to do. But odds are I ain't going to do it all. <laughs> Procrastination. But yeah, clean corners and behind our chairs. I noticed it when Amy, my infusion nurse, came Saturday. And we were trying to get a cord to put the pump into. You know, plug it up. But it don't plug. It had batteries. So there you go. We need a cord. I need to call them about that. Call about... Oh, shoot. I'm going to make me a note right now. Call about... Pump AC cord. Isn't that what you call a plug-in cord, an AC cord? I'm just going to say plug-in cord, maybe. Anywho, those are things I need to do in the living room and then vacuum and my glasses won't stay on my head and it's a thing. Kitchen, I need to clean the counters, wipe the appliances, wipe those utensil caddies, back and mop. That man did mop the floor the other day, and it looks so much better. But bless his heart, I did not tell him. It was my fault. I did not tell him to mop the mats. I'm going to let y'all have a look at that. That is some old dirt, ain't it? That is nasty. I noticed it. Um, bless his heart. He didn't know. He did not know. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to re-mop. It needs it anyway. It needs it anyway. Kitchen technically should be mopped every other day. That's the schedule I used to have. But that was before, you know, everything went to a basket. <laughs> I'm a basket case. Yeah, there you go. Um, bedroom, I need to change those sheets. I still haven't had any help changing sheets. I'll, I'll make a comment. We need to change sheets today. Yeah, we do. I'll help you with that. Let me go do so-and-so first. And then I didn't see him for the rest of the day. He was out there in the shop piddling. Procrastination. He does it too. Um, I want to vacuum in there, but it's going to clog up my vacuum. I know it is. Um, and then clean and sweep or a vacuum and mop the bathroom floor because Jesus please be some pine saw it's nasty up in there you know what I mean um, but yeah I'm going to tackle those I really and truly need to bring down my shower curtain and wash them my liner girl maybe I should put it in the tub I have washed them in the washing machine before put some of that oxyclean down in there and girlfriend clean usually I try to I try to buy or have new ones in stock like in my pantry area or my linen area and I don't have any more and we're on a no spin November is no spin November only with things that are like truly on sale 
or for baby girl's birthday party. <laughs> My luck, she's going to come zooming in behind me. <laughs> and you can't hear her. She moves like a cat. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put y'all back up here. Hang on. Last night I had no droppage. Alright, so, but first, I'm going to eat my lunch. I took all my morning meds, and I have not eaten anything, and it's going to turn my stomach in knots. So, I'm going to have some soup. Honey, Carol Beth loved it. She had a real big bowl of it. Well, she had a small bowl first, and she liked it. She said, Mom, that soup is good good and usually she don't ever make comments you have to ask her did you like it and then she'll comment but she told me without me asking that soup was good so I know she liked it so mental note keep this in my recipe rotation um and that's what she did for lunch today she heated her up a bowl of soup so I'm gonna have me a bowl because we still have this much left that so that's gonna be my lunch and I need to eat it now because my tummy I don't want my stomach messing up so I'll be back okay hey huns it is now 1 30 I had my lunch I watched half of the final final episode of the following and I'm so upset that it's the last one I was hoping it was like a new series and they were going to be making number four. Season three was done in 2015. <laughs> How did I not know about this? Well, back then we didn't have CW. Whatever the CW stands for. But we've got it with our smart TV. Anywho, all that being said, I decided I needed to get up off my wampus and get started on some things. We are going to be productive today if it kills me. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed when I was doing my laundry, I've got the first load going. I know, right? Anyway, um, our towels, especially the lighter blue ones, are absolutely nasty. Even though I washed them. Even though I washed them. They are like light brown, you know, kind of embedded in the threads they're supposed to be light boy um i'll show y'all when i get ready to do what i'm fixing to do right now i looked up laundry stripping you know where i'm sure you have seen it's either instagram or tiktok where they strip like their towels and stuff they said usually your towels and your sheets did you not did you know you are not supposed to use fabric softener on towels I kid you not look it up vinegar use vinegar on towels the fabric softener stays in there and that's what catches the goo um, and so ours are filthy even though they've been washed I'm going to do laundry stripping but I have to change and tweak their little recipe first. It called for a fourth of a cup of baking washing soda. You know, the Arm & Hammer washing detergent stuff. Um, used to, we made our own homemade laundry soap when we lived down at the farm. And now it's gotten to where, I think, um, and it almost left our clothes kind of slimy or they got to where they were um, smelling. That's when Fat Man's t-shirts started to just hanker with the smell. So we quit making it. But it would call for the Arm & Hammer washing soda. It is totally different from baking soda. Um, the Borax and the Fells Napa um, bar of soap. You know, you can look it up. Look up homemade liquid laundry detergent. I think they all basically have that recipe. Anywho, today, um, stripping calls for a fourth of a cup of borax, a fourth of a cup of 
washing soda, the Arm & Hammer washing soda, and then a half a cup of laundry detergent. Get your water as hot as you possibly can. Put the ingredients in there. Stir it around until it dissolves. Then add your, your towels or sheets or whatever you want to add in there and wait until the water cools off. It said it would take about four hours and you just go in there and kind of keep stirring. Now, I don't know about y'all, but our hot water, and it gets hot. Um, but it's going to be cool before four hours. But I'm going to leave them in there. I'm going to leave them in there and see what happens. Now, here's how I had to modify the recipe. A, I do not have Arm & Hammer washing soda. I looked up, excuse me, I looked up substitutes, and one finally said baking soda. I'm going to try it. I know it might not work, but we're giving her a whirl, right? So I got a fourth of a cup of baking soda, and I do not have borax, but I do have OxyClean. And I was reading where OxyClean is actually better than borax because it's got sanitizing in it. So, a fourth of a cup of that. I'm just going to mix everything up in my mixer. My measuring cup. Lord have mercy. I've got a half a cup of our laundry soap, which right now we're using like the Tide of the Members Mark brand. I got it at Sam's. And to me, it's just as good as Tide, but a heck of a lot cheaper. So, the last laundry soap I've got in there, I've got one in the hole, as we say, um, is the great value of game. It's basic. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. So, I'm just going to kind of give this a stir. And I read some that said actually put in some Dawn Power Wash or just Dawn. So I've got my Power Wash right here and I'm just going to kind of spray. Can y'all see now? I'm just spraying some in there. I'm not really kind of, I figure if I cover the top, There we go. Because that power wash don't play, y'all. I did try like the homemade version. You keep your bottle. And it said add. Oh, yeah, that's dissolving that stuff. Look at there. Yeah, that power wash is hanging in, buddy. Um, I'm just kind of thinking off the top of my head. What can I put in here? And, Lord, I'm mixing chemicals. Sweet Jesus. Don't let me pass that I know not to put bleach in this. Oh, you don't mix bleach with nothing. You, when me and Fat Man, Brian was the only one we had at that time. We lived in an apartment close to the hospital. That lasted about six months. Couldn't handle it. I, we were not made for apartment living. Give me some cows and some land and a, a double wide and I'm good. I finally have gotten used to the neighborhood. <laughs> now that we've gotten older and can't handle, you know, taking care of that many acres and keeping it cut and keeping the gardens going, because we had like two acres just planted peas, veggies, you know, and uh, it would be my job and the kids' job to go out and take care of it daily after homeschooling. But, um, okay, there we go. So, this is just baking soda, OxyClean, um, laundry detergent, and some Dawn Power Wash that I sprayed in there. That's so far it. I do have the Lysol Laundry Sanitizer, and I'm wondering if that wouldn't be a benefit to add to it. I'm scared I'm going to mix so many cups. Have y'all ever seen that episode? I've linked it before. Where Mr. Mom, remember, um, oh, Keaton, Michael Keaton was Mr. Mom, and he saw like all the supplies to do laundry, you know, all the different bottles. 
And he's like, forget this. So he got a measuring cup and just started squirting, like spray and wash in it. And he poured some fabric softener. And honey, it ate up that washing machine. That's when all them bubbles come falling out. It, that was the funniest scene, I think. Anywho, uh, I'm going to add some of this laundry sanitizer. It can't... Oop, y'all are up again. I hope y'all like scare the hats. Whoa. We need a little bit more space, don't we? All right. I'm trying new angles. If y'all don't like it, please comment down below. Or if you do like it, comment down below. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, right now, I'm just pouring. I don't know. I maybe poured like a fourth of a cup. I thought I had it in the shot, but I did not. I poured in a fourth of a cup of that laundry, Lysol laundry sanitizer. Y'all, that stuff works. Let me tell you, that man's clothes can get funky. I mean, he's a plumber. Think about what he deals with. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I don't want my video flagged for inappropriate <laughs> or nasty. There is one that says disgusting, I think, whenever you go to the monetation. Yeah. Anywho, it asks question. Oh, dark hallway, y'all. Carol Beth has gone to art. So I am home alone. Um, yeah, yeah. So there you go. I've gotten all her party stuff so far. I need to order the Fiero Rocher chocolates. I'll have to show y'all the little wings. You, I bought from Amazon some little gold glitter wings, and you paste it or stick it to uh, the Fiero Rochers, you know, the chocolate wrapped in the gold, and it's the Quidditch, the... The golden stitch. It's the golden stitch. Yeah. It looked cute. It was a Pinterest idea. And I'm like, I can't do that. So I got an order of those. Sam's cheapest place, hands down. And you get 48 for like $14. You know what I'm saying? And then I need to order... I need to check and see if my tablecloth is going to be big enough because we're going to have to expand the table with all the leaves in it because all the kids, all the spouses. Oh, that's my alarm on my phone going off. Let me go take care of that and I'll be back. I've got my, flip y'all this way, I've got my um, mixture, uh, yeah, it's bubbling, <laughs> I have something stuck to my OxyCleans and started getting solid again, it didn't, now that's the baking soda, well, he hangs. break this up. I'm going to go ahead and get the water running. I will probably have to do a voiceover because it runs loud. I'm going to let it run for a few minutes until it gets just straight hot. Must 
actually working on the water. I don't know if it'll be a brown is gonna affect it or not. Uh -huh. Hey, this should help clean my tub as well. Uh -huh. We're gonna see. Maybe I found the trick. Strip laundry and clean your tub all at the same time. You know what I did? I turned on cold water. I turned on cold water. I sure did. I was wondering why it wasn't getting hot. <laughs> and I passed my cognitive thinking test after that. Carol Beth has been asking me, are you sure they scored you right? <laughs> and I'm like, why? You still crazy. She tells you like it is. There go my glasses again. Hey, y'all. <laughs> All right, let's see if we've got hot water in there. I'm going to go down just a little bit more. Okay. Y'all got the whole tub now, right? All right. Oh, yeah, that's hard as a difference. Ooh. That's in. Okay. I got everything out of the measuring cup. I'm gonna take my glasses off because I keep sliding down. I think that bacon soda did dissolve. That water's hot enough it should have. Okay, I'm going to show y'all the towel in question. Look at that. Do you see how brown? Honey, when we, I'll show you a hand towel or a wash rag. When we got these, they were light blue. In fact, you can kind of see a little bit down later. Notice how that's not brown. So we're just gonna pop that puppy in. We're gonna turn our water off. I'm gonna get the other towels. Yeah. See this one, it's a different pattern. It's a different brand. But that did the same thing. It's supposed to be that color. That is not that color. <laughs> Oh, look at there. That's a good big stain. So, let me get the other bath towels like that. My dark ones do not need to do it. Um, my hand towels do not need to do it. Well, one does. Here's another one in question. Our dark blue ones don't have it. We just bought those last year. But see how that's brown? It's the same way. This is the color that they should be. I'm going to go ahead and throw that in for good measure. And I'm going to get the other one. We had two hand towels. A, light, a sweet, sweet lady from our church when we moved she gave us these towels and honey i thought i was in luxury style yes me oh gosh oh. um we'd never had towels like that we got walmart towels i can go ahead and tell you those were not walmart towels yeah no they weren't all right i'm going girl i wish my hair was long enough to pull back. It's getting there. It's longer than it was. It's longer than it was. See, I still have my infusion nurse noticed it real bad. Sadly, because I'd gotten my shower and I washed my hair. And once it's wet, you can really tell how thin it is right through here and y'all I used to have the thickest hair I used to make the comment watch what you say 
because I used to make the comment, well, at least I don't have to worry about going bald. I got thick hair. Girl, God showed me. <laughs> Anywho, we're going to let that set. Oh, I need to stir them in. Let me go stir them in. I'm debating about adding my shower curtain. Because it's filthy too. Oh yeah. I will have to show you all this water once it soaks about halfway. Okay. I think I stirred that pretty good. Let's go ahead and add shower curtain because it has not been washed in a while and it's got mold. I'll show y'all something. Um, and I usually don't, you know, have this problem, but I've been off my regimen of cleaning. There's the liner. I don't know if you can see how dirty that is. I mean, that's nasty dirty. Look at the bottom. See it? It's paint mold. <laughs> but look at this one. I guess from grabbing it, I don't know. I don't know how that got that dirty. I really don't. But uh, it's dirty down at the bottom. So, we're going to take these down and soak them, too. <laughs> I regret not getting... Aldi had a set that was pink and white, and it was like pennies. And they had marked them down to $4.99. The pink pennies were all they had. I asked Fat Man, because it came with the shower curtain, a rug, the hooks... And it's something else. It might have been the liner. It might have been the liner. Anywho, that man's like, no, that's too prissy. And now I'm kicking myself for not getting it because I would have loved that. Pink and blue can go together. Trust me, if it's light enough pink, it'll work. And this was. This was the perfect color to go with this blue. Oh, well. Can't keep kicking myself over something I didn't do. Y'all, look at this water already. Do you see that? I'm scared to put my hand straight down in there. Look at there. Do you see how dirty that is already? Oh, my land of living. That's nasty. I can't wait for four hours. <laughs> Hey, Google, set timer four hours. There you go, girl. Yeah, I have to set my timer for anything I need to do, and I will actually go in and label it, do towels. So, let me get this shower curtain down and soak it. Okay, Heinz. It is now like 5.15, time to start supper. Like I said, tonight we are going to do the chicken tenders that we got from Sam's a while back. And they're already breaded, but on the box it said not cooked. So they're raw, so it takes them a little bit. We do not like them. Let me rephrase. To me... Like the oven, the air fryer, anything like that dries them out too bad. It makes the crumbs, the crusties, I don't know, it's just too dry and crumbly feeling. Um, so I'm probably going to cook them in grease. Gotta have grease, right baby? What? I had a little mishap in the bathroom, so he's got them mop the floor. It'll be alright. It'll be alright. Anywho. I'm going to do some potatoes in our Instapot because I've been wanting to try it anyway. So we're going to see. It says they're actually better than microwave. So we're going to find out. I, my favorite way of eating them 
See, I got a thing if I talk, my lips are going to get that film on them. Um, hey, Baba. Hey, guys. Tell them your thing. Fat man here. Y'all got some things to do. Like. Comment. I love share, here. Yep. And subscribe. On there the you guys. Not on some big moments at your house. Oh, I'd have a ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would have a ball. Okay, so we're gonna, and now I'm gonna do roasted zucchini, and I'm gonna do that recipe with you too. So this might be a long video. We might be in for the long haul. <laughs> I've gotten so much done house cleaning. I changed the sheets on my bed. I'm still stripping those towels. I just went and stirred it. Y'all, that water is unbelievable. So, anywho, baked potatoes. It says prep time one minute, cook time 14, total time 15. That's not true because your pressure cooker has to come up to pressure before your time actually starts. I want to time it and see how long it takes to get up to pressure. The other day it felt like about 10 minutes. I could be wrong. Anywho, five medium russet potatoes. I'm going to do six. That way we'll have two apiece. Or if we want to eat one tomorrow, I love. Well, no, me and Fat Man are going to be traveling tomorrow. We're going to take y'all along with us. I have to go to UAB to see the pulmonologist. I got a breathing test and then see them. So, the fun never ends. <laughs> COVID, the, I said the word, cooties, the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> and then one cup of water. So make sure the stainless steel insert is inside the Instapot. So we've got to add this to our pot. Good gravy. Are we stuck? No, there we go. Okay. I do that. I got something down in there. Probably for some veg vegetables. I've got it on, but not on. It's on off right now. And then add one cup of cold water. Alright, so got that done. Wash and scrub the potatoes clean. Poke with a fork several times all over the surface of each potato. Now, I've already washed them. And so now we're just going to poke our holes. My poking skills are not quite what they should be because I'm poking with my shoulder. You know, my right shoulder. I can't do it left-handed. I have tried doing so many things left-handed and it just doesn't work. I think I've made it all the way around. Isn't that some holes right there? Maybe not. I can't tell. All right, Miss Potato Head, have I gone all the way around you? I think I have. All right, we're gonna call him Poked. So let me poke these other potatoes. Hey y'all, <laughs> I'm gonna poke these other potatoes. Get them in the Insta Pot, and I'll be back. <laughs> hey guys, okay, I'm back. I Fat Man had to help. He had to pierce some of the potatoes. I just couldn't do it. Like I said, it was affecting my shoulder. Okay, our next step, we got them in there. They're on a wire rack. Place our lid and make sure I love that sound. Make sure we're at seal, which we are. And we are going to put on, cook on high pressure. It says manual button. I don't have a manual button. But then it says hit the pressure button. So, and we're going to do this high pressure 14 minutes. Alright, and I'm going to wait through, we're going to take it off that keep warm. 
I'm going to wait a couple of seconds and it should turn on. And it's on high pressure, so that's good. Okay, it turned itself on. Hey, Giggle. Set alarm. Uh, set stopwatch. Starting now. Okay, we're going to find out how long it takes to get to pressure. Yeah. Okay. Um, my dishes are baked so good. I need to make tea. So let me get tea made and then we're going to do zucchini. Okay, now we're going to work on our baked zucchini. And the recipe sounds so good. I got this one from um, wellplated.com. I will link it down below. But they're going to look like that. Doesn't that look good? And it tells you little tips and tricks to make it where it's not soggy. You know, zucchini has a ton of water. And this way it's never soggy. And it goes with so many dishes. I mean, this will go with never anything that you've got going on. We're going to cut that off right there. And it's going to be okay because nobody eats, you know, that part anyway. Alright, we are going to quarter this. It means half. And then flip it and the other. Oh, my phone dropped. Half. So those are quartered. Let's do this one. Sorry if my knife is loud. Okay, we're going to flip it. Okay, that's four. Last one. I know it said, what, four? It said something like that, but what you gonna do? Alright, let me cut this one. Okay, that's half. And we're gonna roll it over, and then that's a quarter. Okay, so we got that done. We got them cut. A uh, third of a cup freshly grated Parmesan. I do actually have Okay, I'm going to look ahead at the direction Preheat oven to 400. Cooling rack. Non sprick cook spray in place on a rimmed baking sheet. I've got that over here. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Okay, there it is. And it says to spray. The rack. And it's getting on the pan, but that would be better than getting anywhere else, wouldn't it? Well, I'm glad that didn't catch up from the, that hot tea going. Alright, um, in a small bowl, stir together the Parmesan Italian seasoning and salt and pepper. So, I used my Italian the other day. Yes, I'm getting so low, I've got to get some more. I've got to put it on my list. Alright, so we're going to do the Parmesan, which is a third of a cup. Um, third of a cup. And I don't, this is some grated Parmesan that came in something. And I used it the other day. Oh, crap. We put it on uh, some, oh, I did something with spaghetti or noodles. 
We had something for noodles. I don't even remember now. Oh, we did the Italian sausage. Yes, yes, that's what it was. All right, so we're going to get this in here. And I've got this bag of Italian in case we need any more. Y'all, this is some good stuff. Instead of getting Parmesan, go ahead and get the Italian style. If you have an Aldi, it's cheaper, and then it adds so much flavor. But I wanted to get that Parmesan used up. It had been opened, so it needed using. And look, it made a third of a cup. That's a good lord right there. All right, so there's that. And we need a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. So I'm going to put it in my little well. There's the teaspoon. All right, it got up to pressure. Hey, oh, where is my... It took 10 minutes and 24 seconds to get to pressure. I knew it was something like 10 or 15. Alright. So, it's gotten up to pressure now and it's doing this 14 minutes. Alright, so there's the Italian seasoning, grated Parmesan, salt. It says a half a teaspoon. We're going to do just a pinch. And a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper. I have got to be careful with this pepper. Oh my word. That's what I put too much on. Um, okay, now it's calling for extra virgin olive oil. Okay, we're just supposed to kind of mix this together. Like that. Okay, I got all that mixed. Now, in a small... Oh, we did that. All right, place the zucchini in a large bowl, drizzle with olive oil, and sprinkle the Parmesan mixture. Toss to coat and arrange the zucchini on top of the cooling rack on the prepared baking sheet, being careful not to overlap the spears. So we need to get this in a bag or something. Set a large bowl. I have found... Here's one. I'm a tease burly. I'm going to turn that off. Alright, we're going to do this this way. We need a third of a cup. So just enough. To coat it good. Okay, there's my oil. We are going to, cause see what did it call for? One and a half tablespoons. So that's probably about right, isn't it? Um, Alright, last items we're going to need is a tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Shoot, you're going to get in the bottle. And then two tablespoons of chopped fresh herbs, such as parsley, basil, dill, or mix. I'll probably use just some more Italian seasoning, or the parsley does sound good. Maybe parsley and a little bit of garlic. I love me some garlic. You don't like me, but I love it. So, okay, now we're going to take our... Parmesan mixture we're going to put in there and we're going to shake it to coat everything. This way it's not dirty enough a, a bowl. It's getting on there. All right now we're going to be very careful about laying it on our cookie sheet. And if I need to uh, do some more cheese or add something to it if it just don't look like it coated good I can take care of it I've got that Italian cheese right here so all I gotta do is sprinkle
said, do not overlap. So I'm trying to be good and not overlap anything. They can scooch closer together. It's not like they're social distancing. Social distancing is over scooch. Okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm just going to take what was left in the bowl. Kind of sprinkle where I see some bare spots. Some of them were stuck at the sides. Hey, sweet angel. Hey. How you doing? Hey, what are you doing? I am making baked roasted Parmesan zucchini. And then in there I have baked potatoes. Um, and then I'm gonna cook chicken tenders. Mm -hmm. Like the fried chicken tenders. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're having. Uh-oh. I'm working on it. Okay, Heinz, this is how my chicken tenders are turning out. Remember I said they are not fully cooked. They aren't even cooked. It's just battered. So I got another pan going. I was able to get six in a pan, and Fat Man wanted me to tell y'all what I said to the chicken tenders when I was getting them in that pan. I'm like, all right, y'all need to make room. We're, we're not social distancing in this skillet. <laughs> Here is the zucchini, y'all. Look at that. You actually put more cheese on after it's finished. Pop it in the ruler for two minutes. That's when you add the parsley and your herbs. I've done take in a bite and oh my sweet stars and garters. It is good. Putting it on, hold on. Putting it on that cookie sheet made all the difference in the world. It is not soggy at all. It's actually kind of crispy. But it's delicious. And then these are my baked potatoes. How they turned out. That was already split. But they do. They feel so soft. So, that's our meal for tonight. What are y'all having tonight for supper? Comment down below. I would love to hear. I need some ideas. I need some ideas because I'm um, I'm kind of going through this freezer in here attached to my refrigerator to see what we have in there. That's why I usually put like lunch stuff and uh, oh, we've got a bunch of pot pies. One night we're going to have pot pies. They're Marie calendars. They'll be good. <laughs> Andrew got us hooked on Marie Callender's pot pies. Carol Beth loved it. And she's like, we can't get no other kind, Mama. So she saw them at Sam's. There's that kind that Andrew had. I'm like, yeah. So we'll go ahead and get them. So that is near about being a routine thing. Like maybe every, I don't know, two, three months. She'll, she'll want pot pies. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be on the menu one night. We don't have no meat other than this and some little sausage. Y'all are crooked. Little sausage that I have. I don't know what's going on. We're all going to lean. Lean and lean. Leaning on the promises of God, my Savior. <laughs> I love that song. All right. So, until next time, be good, be sweet, be kind, don't start nothing, there won't be nothing, share, play nicely with others, do something kind for someone tomorrow, yeah, and then come back and pop in with us, we're going to be on a road trip, it's not a fun road trip, but road trip, <laughs> um, I've got to go to UAB, and like I said, see the pulmonologist, so we're going to do that. We'll probably stop somewhere along the way. Who knows? All right, so until next time, stay out of trouble. Don't need bail money. But if you do, I got you. I got you. Better, I'll probably with you. <laughs>
if you live in the vicinity of me, and you got to go to jail, you can bet your sweet bitty I'm the first one in the back of their police car. <laughs> so have a good night. Bye, honey.